hello friends welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so from today onwards i'm going to start a new series called jira tutorial and this is going to be very exciting and important series guys because you are going to learn a lot of things in this tutorial so nowadays it becomes very crucial and important to understand the concept of jira tool because mostly we are working on agile projects mostly we are working on agile methodologies correct and uh, like mostly like 80 to 90 percent companies are using jira tool why because using jira tool they can easily manage those agile projects so jira tool is nothing but the complete project management tool where we can easily manage different agile projects or different other projects as well so this is very important series guys where you can whether whether it doesn't matter whether you are a beginner or you are intermediate or you already have some experience as well so it becomes very important to understand and go about this tutorial because i'm going to explain each and everything in practical way few uh, few videos initially it will be on like theoretical stuff later on we'll talk about everything whatever like uh, we are going to learn as part of agile methodologies like scrum agile everything we are going to discuss in detail using this tool i'll explain with the, the complete workflow how we are going to set up the account how we are going to set up the projects what are the different settings inside jira and some other settings how we are going to go about the reports right what are the different issues how we are going to create them and what are the different uh, other like how we can customize the workflow everything we are going to learn in detail in this tutorial so i have divided this tutorial into two parts the first part is completely about the jira tool what are the different settings and how we are going to go about the jira tool basically we'll discuss in this jira tool okay and the second part is so since we have uh, since i already talked about like jira is a complete project management tool right so where we'll discuss about the complete project setup and uh, basically how it works we'll talk about it and later on i'm going to talk about it uh, i'm going to talk about uh, x-ray tool as well so x-ray basically a separate plugin or i would say a separate tool uh, which is test management tool where we can easily manage the uh, testing artifacts here also we can manage with some extent right but uh, using this tool we can easily manage the testing process so uh, this will be a bonus guys because x-ray i'm going to explain each and everything as well so you learn the test management tool as well okay with the integration of jira tool so firstly we'll talk about uh, the complete uh, jira and later on i'll create a separate series on x-ray as well because recently i have implemented this x-ray tool on my project as well so this is what we are going to discuss in coming days and uh, coming few weeks okay so let's talk about uh, what we are going to learn in this series uh, and uh, what are the what is the agenda for today in this particular video so we are going to talk about what is jira today and uh, why do we need jira and who should learn jira tool and later on we'll talk about what are the different products we have in jira and at last we'll talk about what we learn in this jira series series so this is what we are going to discuss today so let's talk about the first topic what is jira so as i have already explained like earlier so jira is a complete project management tool right so jira is a popular project management tool developed by atlassian so there is a there is an uh, australian company called atlassian which is uh, who developed the this tool jira tool right and originally created to track and manage software development projects it is initially developed for the software development projects later on it is uh, widely used across other uh, the products as well so jira has evolved to support various types of uh, projects management and business processes its name was originally derived from gojira the japanese word godzilla right and later on they used to call like jira only reflecting its initial focus on bug tracking and issue tracking for software development so as i remember i used it long back uh, for the issue tracking uh, and bug tracking right so initially it was developed for the uh, defect management later on it is widely used for the project management 
and it is called project management tool. What are the different features we have inside Zira? So issue tracking, which we discussed, project management, customization, integration, reporting and analytics. So it has different reporting features as well, which I'm going to explain with the help of a real world example and collaboration features as well. We can easily collaborate with uh, different stakeholders using this tool. Access controls and permission. We can give per, uh, access permission to particular team or particular user, right? Whether it's a QA or BA or developer, we can easily assign the different permission. Why do we need Jira, right? Why we should, uh, why do we need this Jira tool? So complex uh, project management. As we have already discussed, this is complete project management and to, to manage the complex project, we need Jira tool so that we can easily manage our complex project because nowadays projects, uh, since we are working on agile methodology, so it will be like two weeks is uh, experience cycle or one week or three weeks like that, right? And we, we usually, uh, frequently re releasing our projects, uh, products, uh, sorry, uh, builds, right? So that's the reason we need Jira tool for complex project management. And for sure, like uh, issue and bug tracking, uh, team collaboration, customizable uh, workflow. Easily we can customize the workflow, reporting and analytics, and integration with other tools. We can easily integrate with other tools using Jira tool. So these are the different uh, features which we have inside Jira and these are the different needs. That's the reason we go for Jira tool. Who should learn Jira? So software developers and engineers and project managers and scrum masters, quality assurance, or you can say testers, IT professionals, ICT teams and all, right? And business analysts and product managers, team leaders, managers, and non-technical roles. So basically all these stake stakeholders should know the Jira tool, students and professional aiming for relevant roles. Now let's talk about what are the different products we have in Jira. So the first product is and most important one which we are going to use for our software development is Jira software. This is the most popular version of Jira, especially tailored for software development teams, right? It supports agile methodologies, which we discussed like Scrum and Kanban. So we'll set up, uh, we have different templates, like whether we go for Scrum or Kanban. So there are different, uh, these are the two different projects like Scrum projects or Kanban, which we are going to discuss in coming days, right? What is Scrum? What is Kanban? Don't worry about it. I'll practically show you as well what is the difference and what what is basically Scrum and Kanban projects. So this is the tool, uh, this is the product which we're going to use. And the second one is Jira work management. Uh, what it says for formerly known as Jira core. So this known as earlier Jira core. This version is designed for business teams. Outside of software development, such as marketing, HR, finance and operations. Correct outside of the development teams like marketing, HR, finance and operations. So we can use Jira for those teams as well. Third one is Jira service management. Third product is Jira service management. This is basically for the uh, service. This product is focused on IT service management, IT SM for the ICT team, right? For customer service, it designed to help IT teams and service desk manage request incident problems and changes efficiently. So these are the three products which we have currently on Jira. Earlier it was four and currently now we have like Jira software, Jira work management and Jira service management. Let me show you as well practically. So here we have, yeah, so here you can see we have Jira software, Jira service management, Jira work management. I have already logged in. Uh, I have already created my account. Later on, I'll show you as well. Don't worry about it guys, like how to create the account or how to set up it. So this is my uh, already I used Jira earlier. So I have already created an account. So here you can see Jira software, Jira service management, Jira, Jira service management and Jira work management, different products.
Now let's talk about what we're going to learn in this particular series, right? So account and project setup. So I'll show you complete uh, how we, we are going to create the account and project setup inside Jira tool. Navigation and interface like dashboard, projects and issues, issues and detail. So whatever we create in Jira, let's say we are going to create the story, task, subtask, all will be called as issues in Jira, which I'll show you later on. Okay. And uh, project management in Jira, project setup, how we are going to set up the project boards, backlogs and sprints. Jira and Agile will completely when we talk about Jira tool, definitely we, we are going to talk about Agile concepts as well. And advanced some of the advanced features as well, like custom workflow, how we are going to customize our workflow. That is very important, right? As per our need. Custom fields and screens, permission and security. So I'll talk about different settings as well inside Zira tool as well and practical exercises and real world scenarios. So these are the different things which we are going to learn in this series. And also, as I have talked about earlier, we are going to talk about X-ray tool as well, how we are going to integrate the X-ray tool and how we are going to basically uh, go about the testing life cycle, which we are going to discuss in X-ray tool series as well. And there is one more product is as well like Confluence. Probably I'll talk about it as well. So this is all for today, guys. And still, if you have any questions regarding today's session, then please let me know in the comment section. And if you are new to this channel, then please subscribe this channel. Click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos. Thank you.